The speculation regarding a potential trade involving the Golden State Warriors has ignited fervor among basketball enthusiasts. Following a lackluster season, the team finds itself in a state of flux, prompting discussions about a possible overhaul. Central to this chatter is a proposed transaction, featuring a dynamic duo with a combined valuation reaching an impressive $116 million. The envisioned deal holds the promise of resurrecting the team's erstwhile dominance, reminiscent of its glorious past. Amidst this conjecture, anticipation runs high within the fanbase, yearning for a revival of the once-potent dynasty. The unexpected absence from the playoffs, a rarity in recent memory, has spurred a sense of urgency among the team's management. They are now actively seeking to fortify the roster with the addition of this high-value pair. Such a move not only holds the potential to inject fresh vigor into the team but also serves as a catalyst for a resurgence that could reshape the NBA's competitive landscape. The Warriors, renowned for their adeptness at transforming adversity into opportunity, appear poised to embark on another compelling chapter in their storied history. A bright light shines on the horizon for the Golden State Warriors team, as they are just two seasons away from their championship form. Stephen Curry's unwavering performance last season, throughout his glorious 15-year career, confirms his continuous effectiveness. In light of this, it would be wise to make one last push to reach the peak. Greg Swartz, in a piece published on Bleacher Report, highlights a tactical error made by the Warriors during the recent trade window. Rather than actively pursuing reinforcements, the team opted to stick with their existing roster. Swartz emphasizes the importance of Golden State's obligation to Stephen Curry, advocating for the acquisition of talented players capable of securing immediate victories in the upcoming offseason. Additionally, he suggests that the team should prioritize shedding the remainder of Andrew Wiggins' contract. In order to rectify what he perceives as a misstep and reignite the team's former dominance, Swartz proposes a hypothetical trade scenario. This trade would involve the Warriors acquiring key players from the Brooklyn Nets, specifically Mikal Bridges and Dennis Schroeder. In this potential trade scenario, the Warriors would gain Mikal Bridges, Dennis Schroeder, the Nets acquire Jonathan Kuminga Andrew Wiggins 2025 first round pick 2026 second round pick 2028 second round pick, via Chi, Bridges emerges as one of the most reliable players in the NBA, a quality considered crucial for the Warriors as they struggle to retain Draymond Green. Swartz's assessment highlights Bridges' reliability, a trait that could significantly strengthen the Warriors' roster. It is worth noting that the potential addition of Bridges promises an improvement over current players like Wiggins and Kuminga, offering an upgrade both offensively and defensively. Simultaneously, the possible arrival of Schroeder indicates a strategic move for the Warriors, positioning him as the likely successor to Chris Paul as the team's secondary playmaker. With financial constraints likely preventing Paul's return, Schroeder emerges as a viable alternative to bolster the Warriors' point guard rotation. His inclusion not only provides depth but also ensures a seamless transition behind Curry, the team's cornerstone, thus solidifying the dynamics of their backcourt. During last year's playoffs, he had a subpar performance, showing less effectiveness in a larger sample size this following season. Cam Thomas, a former first-round pick of the Nets, has also earned a more prominent position. However, Bridges continues to represent significant value in the third year of his four-year, $90.9 million contract. Since entering the league as a first-round pick for the Atlanta Hawks in the 2013 draft, Schroeder has played for six teams and is now entering the final year of a two-year, $25.4 million contract, totaling $116.3 million between him and Wiggins, and he is eight years younger than Paul. This would result in approximately a $2.4 million savings for the Warriors, a significant amount given the luxury tax bills, especially considering the more punitive regulations under the upcoming collective bargaining agreement set to take effect next season. The integration of Jonathan Kuminga and Andrew Wiggins posed a significant challenge for the Golden State Warriors that extended beyond mere financial considerations. Initially, their collaboration on the court encountered difficulties, creating a substantial hurdle for the team's overall performance. Despite these initial struggles, the Warriors persisted and managed to achieve a noteworthy plus 1.1 net efficiency differential when Kuminga and Wiggins shared playing time, as data compiled by Cleaning the Glass reveals. However, their challenges led to widespread speculation about potential trades, fueled further by reports of tension between Kuminga and head coach Steve Kerr. Yet, contemplating the trade of both players for the more seasoned 27-year-old Miles Bridges might be seen as an extreme reaction. 
Wiggins, at 29, still brings valuable athleticism and experience to the team, while Kuminga, a mere 21 years old, stands at the threshold of unleashing his considerable talent and potentially becoming a cornerstone for the team's future success.